so I thought I'd record something since I am um, starting a three-day water fast today. Today is New Year's Day, January 1st, 2021. And I've been thinking about doing this cleanse or fast for a while now. And something is, some hesitation has been there just because um, it's the first time that I'm going to do something where there's no caloric intake at all. Um, I've done different cleanses and fasts um, throughout my adult life, um, but it, I either had like a juice or something with caloric value, um, even if it was something that was liquid. Um, and so yeah, I'm I seen a few people do this and I've talked about it with a few people and I decided what better time than the beginning of the year to reset, boost, um, and just cleanse out my system, my immune system, my liver, my stomach, all of that. So I am going to try and do like a little diary, video diary of it. And see if I put a video together of my experience and um, how it goes. Greetings, I'm Queen Tasha and welcome to my channel, Queen Tasha TV, where I share my very unique and alternative lifestyle from RV life and travel adventures to DIYs, how-tos, healthy living, and sustainability. I want to put a young black face to alternative living and inspire those watching that it's okay to be different and live your own best life. Please subscribe and join me each week on my journey to live fearlessly free. I imagine it's going to be okay for me only because... Like I said, I've done a lot of cleanses and things like that before, and so my body's not uncommon with this type of thing, um, this type of deprivation. Also, for the last couple of weeks, I've kind of really been um, conserving what I eat, like being very mindful and eating less and less, like training my body to not need so much food. So um, because of that, hopefully... I won't have too many uncomfortable, you know, starvation, you know, feelings. But everybody that's done this has had great reviews. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to be taking it easy. I'm not going to be doing too much. I have my bed ready to <laughs> just chill, nap, watch TV, um, and or watch YouTube and Netflix and things like that. Um, on my phone and I have some journals as well that I'm going to be planning and doing stuff. Um, yeah, this is a universal call for me to, to, to really get focused. And I think a challenge like this or a, um, cleansing like this is really good to jumpstart that. I am doing day one of my water cleanse. Got some warm water here and purified water here. I prefer it warm because it's freezing outside. Um, and warm water is better for your system. I put a little bit of uh, lemon and um, apple cider vinegar, like just a little couple drops. That gives it a little flavor, but also that's also cleansing as well. And so bottoms up. So it's the end of day one for my water fast and I'm feeling okay. Um, I definitely wasn't able to watch anybody eating any food today, <laughs> but um, as far as like my stomach and everything, I'm good. I took a nap today, which was nice. I'm trying to just like get rest and just like be chill for a couple days before I before I uh, hit the road and hit the ground running. <laughs> I'm resetting, um, and I'm also doing the social media detox. And it's so crazy, like when it's out of sight, it's out of mind. I did want to kind of go and check on things, but like it. I took, I hid the apps on my phone and I turned off the notifications so that I wouldn't get anything and 
I spent the day watching YouTube and I did a little karaoke. There were some people who decided that because I didn't mark my territory, I guess, I pulled up to a space that was literally right in front of a fire pit. And I was going to use that fire pit. And these people came and they camped out. They're not camped out, but like set up a whole little day with a bunch of people right behind my RV around this fire pit. There's so many fire pits in this area and they chose that one and surrounded me. And yeah, that was unpleasant. But also, it is what it is. I didn't move, so I decided to do karaoke and then I waited for them to leave and then I went out to the beach and did a moon sacrifice of my moon blood and now I am about to go to bed because I am it's easier to sleep when you're thinking about food <laughs> so um, it's not like I'm super hungry I don't think I'm hungry at all it's more just like you know your mind knows you haven't eaten, so I'm being resilient toward that. But I do want to get some sleep um, during this process of fasting, and um, it allows your body to heal. And the best way for your body to heal, and what I mean heal, like just anything that's going on that's not functioning properly or smoothly or gracefully, also. You know, just purging anything, any toxins and stuff like that. And so, that happens best when you're asleep and when you can get at least eight hours. So, it is uh, almost nine o'clock and I'm about to go to bed. So I'll see you for day two of the water cleanse. Alright, so it is the morning of day two and I am... I'm feeling okay. I think just the idea of food is what I want. I can't wait to eat again. Um, but I'm not hungry. I've been sipping on my water. Um, the type of water cleanse, I guess, that I'm doing um, is not just strictly water. Or it is strictly water, but I'm putting, like I put lemon juice in it. I put um, apple cider vinegar in it and um, some cinnamon. This all gives it a flavor, but all of those ingredients are also really cleansing. Um, but I am just drinking water. Like I'm not drinking any juice or any tea or anything like that. Um, I'm just adding some things that... Um, curb the appetite so it helps with that hunger pain or that hunger awareness that your um, brain is telling you oh you should probably eat something um, and um, I'm okay um, so I have one more day I'll check back in tonight um, as far as how I'm feeling but I'm just taking it easy really um, I've been binge watching a lot of YouTube um, I listened to a webinar earlier that was really motivating and um, I want to say that I wanted to get some work done but like I'm not forcing myself to do any of that I really want to just take the time to just do what feels right and I think I'm about to watch a movie on Disney Plus so yeah I think I'm gonna do that and then I might take another nap I took a nap yesterday um, I just want to restore your body does best in restoring when you're fully rest when you're resting um, so I want to give myself that while I am also doing this water cleanse because I don't really take naps anymore in my 20s it was like a scheduled nap I would take after work like <laughs> in my 30s I haven't needed to take naps like I've been very energized it also came with changing my diet and changing you know um, my physical activity and things like that but I don't I have an exuberant amount of energy that's just natural so it's nice um, but yeah so I've been taking I'm gonna take a nap today I'm gonna watch a movie 
and I'll probably go to bed early. So yeah, beginning of day two. So I really tried to uh, do this water cleanse and, and stay resilient. I'm doing it to cleanse my mind and my body and my spirit. But what I don't, what I did not take into account is that um, my body is going through its moon cycle and I'm getting ready to ovulate and I'm feeling really depleted and also I have hypoglycemia so I really knew I had to watch how many how much calories I was burning and things like that because my blood sugar I could feel it getting low um, and I know the signs I've been dealing with this for years and I just felt really weak. I felt really like I was about to have an episode of what, what I normally have for hypoglycemia. So I decided to break my fast. I'm gonna have a little oatmeal. I had a couple scoops of peanut butter or all, cashew butter and, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna break my fast. Um, I may continue tomorrow. Um, doing water cleanse um, or having water for most of the day or all of the day just because I'm breaking my fast now does not mean I failed I'm just listening to my body I'm very in tune with my body and so I'm giving it what it needs right now so we'll see what happens for the rest of I'm not gonna be eating a whole lot I just know my blood sugar is low and I need to feed myself um, so that I don't pass out and I'm by myself so I can't do that um, but yeah, so it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It's funny. I keep reporting from the bed, but <laughs> that's where I've been most of these three days of uh, my water cleanse. So as you know, I had to break my fast yesterday because I was feeling really weak and I knew it was because a uh, hypoglycemic incident was about to come on and also um my ovulation starts today uh, but i was feeling you know depleted um and so my body was just having a really red reaction so i had to break my fast for my own health i am my own doctor and i'm very in tune with my body and you know I wanted to do this as the start of the new year, not taking into account my moon cycle um, and the needs for my body during that time. I also probably didn't get a good um, prep by what I had f for dinner and what I ate the day before um, to help with that. But like overall, it's not been terrible. Like, yes, I have been thinking about food, but like overall, like my body wasn't hungry. Even yesterday, like I didn't have any hunger pains. I just felt weak and I knew, and I've gone through the symptoms of like knowing when my body is um, low on sugar. So I felt those things coming on. Um, and I knew the only cure was to eat something. So um, that's why I broke my fast. But otherwise, I'm going to not f give up on this challenge. And I'm going to... Yeah, and yesterday I ate just a few things and that I had here. Um, and that made me feel good. It also helped me poop. Um, I also like was feeling some tightness in my, my bowel. And I think it was just because, you know, a lot of things. But... I was able to purge and cleanse out um, some things yesterday and this morning that I think were kind of stuck that needed an extra little push um, or extra little um, assistance with some food to push it out. Um, but anyway, so I am going to finish off today strong um, by just having water today and to wrap up the end of day three. So. Um, but I am probably going to stay in the bed as well. One of my goals also during this time was to just chill and relax, like not have anything planned, not scheduled to do anything. I have a bunch of stuff by my bed, journals, pens, my laptop, stuff like that. Cause I thought, Oh, okay. Maybe I'll be a little bit productive and 
journal a little bit if I felt like it, plan out some stuff. But to be honest, that's tasks that I just don't want to do. I just want to chill. I've taken two naps since I started this, which is cool. I do plan to take a nap today. Um, like I said before, rest is the best way to um, allow your body to go through um, basically like a reset, like checking things and healing things that might not otherwise get healed through constantly feeding your body and, and stuff like that and not fasting. I intermittent fast most of the time. So really, I didn't need to do this. This was a challenge really of the mind, but also a cleansing of the body. And yesterday I was definitely more mentally challenged. Um, I think that, uh, the idea, there's just so many people cooking out and, and things that I'm watching where people are having food and stuff like that. And so it was more like the mental challenge of depriving myself of food, but not because I was like, I wasn't feeling hungry. I just wanted food. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird what your brain does. It's, it's saying, Hey, you should be doing this because that's what you normally do. So when you take a break, it's like, what are you doing? I'm ready for food. So it's constantly thinking about it. I was salivating all of that stuff, but my physical body was not craving that it knew what I was doing as far as the process of healing. And outside of the fact that my moon cycle disrupted that, um, I think that I'm okay. So, and also not being upset that I had to break my, my fast, knowing that, you know, sometimes, you know, failure happens and sometimes it's out of your control, but you just have to stay resilient. You have to stay persistent. And that's why I didn't say, well, oh, I broke my fast and oh, I'm going to give up for the rest of the time. I'm committing to the three days. I finished drinking water for the rest of the night after I ate. I finished eating around like six or seven because I didn't break my fast until like four. Um, so I had a couple things easily and um, finished off the rest of the night. And then also I'm going to do today. So I didn't fail at this challenge. Um, I just had to do what was necessary for my body. But anyways, I'm rambling on. So <laughs> stay tuned to the diary of tonight to see how tonight went. And my overall take on the water cleanse tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Hey YouTube. So, so we're about to wrap up day three. I'm recording this early because one, I've been going to bed pretty early <laughs> between seven and nine o'clock. And once the sun goes down at four something, <laughs> um, <clears throat> it gets really hard to record with lightning and stuff. Like the lighting's not that great right now because the sun's going down. Uh, oh yeah, I have a mask on my face too. <laughs> I just took a shower and I'm doing a little self-care stuff. I did a nice little scalp massage with some oil. Um, oh yeah. But, uh, day three. Uh, let me put this down. Whoopsie. Come back. Day three of the water fast um, was a success. Um, like, I had no no real um discomfort or anything like that as far as hunger i really haven't had any hunger to be really honest like alarming things for my brain being like hey um, i think it's time to eat but like not like oh my gosh i'm gonna die if i don't eat kind of thing um <laughs> so that has been quite interesting. I'm sitting and looking out my window and I like to people watch. Um, <laughs> so anyways, so yeah, I'm excited about tomorrow um, because I get to eat. I'm going to probably start off with a green smoothie 
and then I'll probably have a salad and maybe some type of seafood or something. So <clears throat> I'm excited to eat. I'm glad that I did this. I'm glad that I continued after I broke my fast. Um, and I am grateful that I am giving my body um, a chance to reset, restore, recover, whatever it needed to do. So that going into 2021, I am my best self, both body, mind, and spirit. Um, so, yeah, I'm good and I'm great. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. <laughs> Got a mask on my face and it looks real weird because it's drying at different, like I plastered it on real thick over here so it's taking longer to dry here, but like right here it's dry. <laughs> it looks so weird. I'm probably gonna re-record re this video. The lighting is terrible too. I don't know what to do. So, I am coming to you from the future. Welcome to the future. <laughs> For my water cleanse review. I realized after filming that video that I did not do a review of my experience um, during my video diary that I was doing um, at the end. So. When I did that water cleanse, I was back in San Diego. It was the first of the year. Wow, right? It's April now. What? Wow. <laughs> yeah. So it was back in January when I was in San Diego, California still. I am now currently in Florida um, and it is currently April. So. I was editing that video and realized that I didn't do that. So here we go as far as my water cleanse, water fast review of my experience doing that. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So my experience was not terrible, but it wasn't great. Um, I did not pick a good time to do that for some reason for me um, doing things like at the beginning of a month or a week it just that mindset allows me to keep track of things and what I wasn't keeping track of was my moon cycle calendar and how that would affect my cleanse in the past I I don't really think I have been intentfully aware of doing things during that time but as I get older um, and my body is changing <laughs> um, I'm becoming more in tune with my body and and especially my cycle and um, me and my cycle have had a great relationship um, I, I've probably had, based on other women's stories that I hear about their cycle, I've had it pretty good. So I'm grateful for that. Um, but over the last few years, I've definitely been more aware of when the cycle is happening and what's happening during that time. Do I get warmer when I'm ovulating. I get more hungry. I'm, um... A little emotional things like that I, I just recognize different stages of what's going on in my body um, and during that time I was ovulating and <laughs> um, if, if you're a woman and you have any idea what that does to your body um, oh my gosh there's flies everywhere I gotta go close the door hold on hold on and we're back. Uh, 
So I believe I was talking about my moon cycle. I had to, I had to, the fly. There was like three flies in here, <laughs> and I had to, had to get them. I think I got two of them out, and there's still one left. But we gonna continue. So that was one deterrent during the fast that made it difficult um, because I wasn't hungry during it. Definitely the idea of wanting to eat food was present like throughout the whole three days. But I was like surrounded by a lot of things that was happening where you could smell food, see food, all, <laughs> you could smell food, see food. Um, and it is that idea. Even like when I would go and watch YouTube or watch a movie that was somebody eating and I was just like, I want to eat something. But I wasn't hungry. Like I wasn't getting any physical um discomfort or signals from my body that um oh you're starving you need to eat something you know any of that anything like that i wasn't having any of that feeling it was definitely very mentally challenging for me um and then when i felt the symptoms coming on of my low blood sugar and all that it you know i was paying attention to that because i'm very in tune and i'm and I have to be safe because I'm here by myself and, you know, and just in general, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I try not to involve people in my episodes because I have passed out in front of some people and it was a public place and thankfully there was people there because like, uh, I was, I won't say I was ignoring the signs, but I was ignoring the signs. <laughs> when I am by myself, I have to pay attention to the bo you know, my body signals. So, um, that's what disrupted my fast, but I did not let that mentally take me down. I know that failure happens. Sometimes failure happens out of our control and it's up to you and your resilience and, and, and um, your strength at that time, both mentally and physically on whether or not you're gonna continue. Are you gonna quit or are you gonna continue? So I continued, I continued after I ate my food, I drank water for the rest of the night and then I drank water for all of day three and I continued the challenge and I was proud of myself that I did that. Um, but I was disappointed that I poorly planned this, <laughs> the, the timing of this cleanse to really get the real benefits to really be able to complete it in the way that I wanted to do it, which was three days of full water. Um, and so for that reason, I would try it again because I do want to see, you know, what I, I want to get the true benefits out of it. The other thing that, um, that, um, made it difficult for me is that, um, I was in an uncomfortable environment. It was really cold. I was in my RV, um, cold most of the time, bundled up. And I, if you know anything about me, I don't like any of that. <laughs> and although I was like by the beach, which, it, you know, which is my happy place, like there was a lot of people there. I didn't really, it was just all around poorly planned in timing and environment was the major deterrent on why I didn't enjoy it or didn't go the way that I thought it would go. Um, I'm sure I got the benefits out of it. Um, I just felt, I did not feel recharged and recovered the way that I thought I would. Um, it was really, really mostly mentally challenging for me. Um, I'm glad I took a three day break and just na I had it napped. I napped for three days. Like I went to bed at like between seven and nine o'clock <laughs> on all three days. And I people watched at the beach and it, it was, it was as best as it could be considering the circumstances. <laughs> so, so I do recommend it. I would try it again. In ideal circumstances with better planning but overall I'm glad that I'm still glad that I did it I because what I learned from it 
is all of those things, but also um, that my body is doing okay in the sense of like, I'm very in tune with my body. It's telling me what it needs and I know what to do for it to make it better. Going through these different challenges, you know, things that we do physically also connect to our mental and spiritual, everything's connected. And so for me in this challenge, although the physical was out of my control, the mental part I realized was the most challenging. So I learned that I need to plan better and I learned, but I learned that it doesn't matter what I go through. I'm a boss, I'm a bad bitch. I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do and I'm gonna rise up and I'm gonna be my best self because <laughs> that's who I am and that's how, how I'll always be. You know, I got through it and now I'm here to talk about it and give you my honest feedback about my experience. So I think everybody should be cleansing and fasting and doing whatever is necessary for your body. But those type of things are necessary for your body, but in, in, in whatever form and whatever way you want to do it. You know, if you're watching this video because you want to know if you should do a water cleanse, yes, you should do it. If you are wanting to do anything that is going to challenge your body, challenge your mental state and challenge um, and do something good. If, they, if you're feeling a call to want to do something like that, it's not just like an interest or whatever, but like if you're feeling a call, like do it. Your body and your mind wants you to challenge yourself. So I would say go ahead and do it. Um, but just take in advice. If you're a woman and you're doing this, make sure you're timing it with, you know, down points in your um, moon cycle. Make sure you're in an ideal environment that is going to foster the best growth and the best positivity for the outcome that you are trying to receive from any cleanse. And also, um, I would say if you can, find somebody to do it with you because next time I do it, I definitely want to do it with somebody, um, even if they're not present with me, but like somebody that I can chat and converse with that's going through the same thing as me and we can, we can relate in that present moment. Um, so that's what I recommend um, going forward. And that is basically what I learned. That's all I have for my water fast cleanse, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> review and diary. I hope um, you got something great out of this video. Not everything is for everyone, but if you feel a call to do something, put your mind to it, write it down, make a plan, and do it because it's going to make you a better person in the long run. Um, being very self-aware is important for growth because it allows you to harness your power. If you don't know that you are powerful, <laughs> You won't use it and you'll rely on everybody else or you'll make excuses for why you can't do it because you're giving that power away to some something or somebody else. Just know that you are powerful. You are in charge of this vessel. You are driving, <laughs> you're driving this ship. And um, the more that you tap in to the things that it's asking you to do, the more in return it's going to um, speak clearly to you so that you can know what to do. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings. I'm out.